guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Mac and Chic. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. This week, I'm actually going on a very fun trip to Nashville, Tennessee with all of my cousins. And I thought, why not do a pack with me type of video because I love watching those and I'm sure you guys do as well. Today's video is just gonna be me packing all my makeup and my skincare and all of that into my makeup bag. So let's get started. So this is what I take all my makeup and everything in. It's from Victoria's Secret. It's really cute and it's totally my style. So when you open this bag, it's actually amazing because it has this clear part with a zipper and you can put a lot of stuff in there. It's actually pretty deep. And then you can actually remove this if you want to and put more stuff in there. And then this side has a bit of mesh with a zipper so that you can add your last minute stuff in there as well. So we're gonna start by filling this clear part up in the bag and this is like a really deep part. This is where I keep like all my palettes, all my bigger items so that it can all be stored away. So even though the trip to Nashville is only for a weekend, I'm actually going to Dallas two days before for some family stuff so I have pretty much five days to pack for. So while I'm in Dallas and Nashville, I know that I'm not gonna go completely full out with my makeup, maybe just a little natural smoky eye or anything if we go out at night. For my eyes, I'm thinking of taking this Morphe 12NB palette. It just has a bunch of natural colors in there. And I've actually never used this. I got it at a recent event, so I'm really excited to use it. And these are all the natural colors that I love to use. And then of course I have to take my Violet Voss Laura Lee palette. It's so dirty, I'm so sorry. But if you know me, you know that I'm in love with this palette. I use it literally all the time. I take it with me every time I travel. So definitely have to take that as well. Those are probably the only palettes I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take smaller sized items of everything else because I don't need too much on this trip. But now that we are done with the palettes, um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the face makeup. So for primer, I'm going to be taking my Porefessional Matte Rescue and probably this Hourglass Veil Primer. It's the travel size version because this is great for like everyday use and then this is great for like if you're going out and it's more on the expensive side so I don't use this every day. For foundation, I think I'm going to go with my Milani Conceal and Perfect along with my Tarte foundation. These are both foundations that I really love and they match my skin tone perfectly. I'm just really hoping this doesn't break in my bag. So for concealer, I'm gonna take my two trusty concealers. I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever Full Coverage Concealer along with my LA Girl Pro Conceal. This one's for like blemishes and all of that and then this is for highlighting. So gotta take these two. For my cream contour, I'm actually gonna take this Maybelline Master Contour Stick. It's the one that's like double-sided with the highlight and contour on each side but I'm only gonna use it for the contour side. So I decided on taking this Laura Mercier bronzer and the Laura Mercier translucent powder to set all of my face, and I think that's perfect. For blush, I'm just gonna take my Sephora Shame On You blush. And then for highlight, I'm going to be taking my Cover FX Candle Light um, little highlight stick. On top of that, I'm gonna be using my J.Cat Beauty You Glow Girl in the shade Twilight. And then for my setting spray, I'm gonna be taking my Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray with oil control. And this is a travel size version. And I think that's it for like face stuff. That's like crazy amount of face, it's ridiculous. Next, we're going to fill this mesh part up. I'm just gonna add like my eye and lip stuff in here because I realize I don't need to take a lot. So for my eyes, I'm gonna be taking my Highbrow by Benefit. I'm gonna take my Anastasia Dip Brow along with my Pixie by Petra gel pen. Um, these, this is for your brows as well, and this is more like everyday. And this is for like when you're like wanna dress up a little bit more. So I'm gonna take both of these. For eyeliner, I'm gonna take my Milani liquid eyeliner along with my Kat Von D ink liner. The only reason I'm taking two is because. I really like the Kat Von D one, but I don't know how much is left, so I just need a backup. For my eye primer, I'm gonna be taking just the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. For mascara, I'm just going to take my Tarte Tartist mascara. 
I'm going to add my gimme brow because this is perfect for like setting your eyebrows in place and still giving it more definition. And finally for eyes, I'm going to take my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Midnight Cowboy. And this is just for like if we go out and I want to add like a sparkly liner or something just in case, you know. I'm also going to go ahead and add my Impressions Vanity Compact Mirror in that same pocket because there's so much space and I'm probably going to need this. Okay, now for lips, I can't decide because I have so many options. But I'm going to be taking my Kylie Cosmetics in the shade Ginger. This is probably my favorite shade out of all the Kylie products that I have. I'm definitely taking my Tardis lip paint in the shade Bestie. I've been wearing this a lot and I love like a neutral lip sometimes. And I think this would be like perfect for like the daytime activities and all of that. Then I'm going to be taking my Gerard Cosmetics Lip Pencil in the shade Share. This is just a darker shade than the Tarte Lip Paint and it'd be perfect for lip contouring, so. And then last but not least, I'm taking my two favorite lip glosses. This is just like a nude, plain lip gloss. There's nothing special to it, just completely nude. And then this one is a little more sparkly. This is like a perfect topper for any lip that you want if you just want to add a little sparkly gloss to it. So I'm taking both of these. These are by Revlon. This is in the shade Sandstorm and this is in the shade Supernatural. So now that all the makeup is done, I'm going to be filling this one up with like all my skincare and all of that. First I'm going to be adding my contact lenses and I wear daily contacts so it's super easy to pack. If I go for five days, I pack like six or seven pairs just in case like it gets stuck in my eye or it rips in my eye because that's happened to me a lot. So just in case I take like a pair or two extra. That I have to take my GHD split end therapy. I use this every time I shower. I just put it in my hair after and it's, it's just amazing. It does wonders to your hair. Next I'm taking two eye masks and these are from Sephora. This is the rose one and this is the pomegranate one. This is what I'm going to be using when I'm like actually traveling like on the plane. So, you know, just to keep myself fresh and energized and all of that. Speaking of masking, I cannot go five days without taking one mask. So I'm going to be taking two masks. I'm going to be taking my Laneige water sleeping mask. And this is like what you put on before you sleep or before you go on a plane, something like that. So you just keep it on and you don't have to wash it off or anything. And then this one is my Derma E Purifying Charcoal Mask. This is just to like detox my face whenever I feel like it's just too crazy. Next, I'm gonna be taking my Solid Beauty Blender Cleanser. For my lips, I'm gonna be taking my The Kiss Lip Scrub by Lush and my Skin Fix Lemon Mint. This is just a balm, it just keeps my lips refreshed and you know, all of that. For cleanser, I'm going to be taking my CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. Then for my moisturizers, I'm going to be taking my Two Belief Moisturizers. This is the Moisturizing Balm and the Aqua Balm. And then in this pocket right here, I'll throw in like any delicate items like fabric chokers or like lace chokers and stuff because I don't want to keep that in a bag full of other jewelry that will like tug at it. We are done. So that is exactly how I pack my makeup bag every time I travel. I literally go through each part of my face and figure out what I need for everything and then I just pack it in here. So that is it for my makeup bag. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. And leave a comment down below. Let me know what your travel essentials are. What do you have to take every time you travel? And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.